Today in this video, it's going to be two people make one painting. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> Hey guys, Peter and Kristen here, and our number has always been 21, and it represents a bunch of different things. One of that is two people plus one God, or two people, one marriage, two hearts, one beat, a uh, bunch of romantic, mushy things. But today, in this video, it represents two people and one painting. So today, we are going to paint this. For this painting, we are going to do a gradient from purple to light blue um, as our background and, and then we're going to swipe it from the light side to the purple side. As Kristen and I build this painting together, we have been exploring a variety of different techniques of painting, some with fluid acrylics, some with brushed on acrylics, and we really felt that we could create some very, very cool pieces if we had combined some of our areas of enjoyment. Kristen really likes the pouring and swiping and fluid, which I also like as well. Um, but I've spent most of my art years in the brush uh, traditional style painting and so we wanted to see if we could put those two together and create kind of a uh, couple's pieces and so that's what we're going to be working on over the next couple months is building pieces using the randomness of the fluid art to then kind of gauge and give direction to um, something that that has a little bit more representation to it and in this case we're building this uh, beautiful fantasy tree piece uh, it really comes out in in some really cool ways On this painting, we're putting another layer of Floetrol, thin layer of Floetrol all over it. And then I am going to take a light purple and kind of do the same uh, swipe, kind of getting the top section here. And then a light purple with a darker purple, some extra Floetrol to help it flow and swipe it along here to give it a few more extra layers here. Now one thing that I I neglected to do was get a really good um, either video or photo of the dried piece before I started painting um, the tree and stuff on it because here you see that the flow troll is all white the flow troll dries clear now on to painting the tree and you'll notice right in the center there there is what looks sort of like a trunk Kristen spotted that as I flipped the piece around trying to look at it and see what we saw and it really kind of just popped to us that this would be be a fantasy tree this is the actual only point where we decided that it was going to be a fantasy style tree uh, so I've I've laid down the base of that trunk and I'm now laying down kind of a darker red background to go with the uh, the leaves and we're just going to paint uh, continue to create the the effect the bottom section is going to be uh, a darker section and now here I get to um, get to start painting on the different branches and some of the trunks. I'm actually following lines of the light purple. Uh, it's it's a little harder to see on this particular camera, but this is the camera that actually fits the best in front of me while I'm painting, so it's the one we're using for the time being. 
So just using a really dark blue for the branches here and going to continue to build them up as we go. Now we're adding some lighter blue to make highlights on the the branches and really focusing on the left uh, upper left side being the light side of the tree and so that's where all the light on the branches and the trunk and on the leaves will end up being uh, important for you to always remember where your light source is as you paint. And in the end, I actually put four different colors on the trunk. So the dark blue, then a, then a lighter blue, and then a blue that I've mixed with a little bit of white, and then actually a kind of a turquoise bluey green um, with a lot more white. Uh, that ends up being kind of the pop. Here we go with the, the really popping white sections. It's actually a green, which at first, uh, my wife thought I was crazy, that Kristen thought I was crazy, but um, it, it actually really works in the end. And now we're adding on some more red. Um, this is a brighter color red, and I really like how all of a sudden the depth of the tree starts coming together. I do put up some orange on the, cat, on the leaves as well, and that just adds the highlight. So this is the final piece dried and hanging on our wall. I really, really like how the cells and the background fit very, very, very well with the tree. It creates kind of a, well, a fantasy feel to it. And it's just, just floored us that we could put something like this together with uh, a couple swipes, acrylic pour stripe, swipes with no silicone or anything fancy and then we could come together and paint a, a beautiful fantasy style tree on the on it and, it and it works it works for us very well so now every time we sit at our dinner table we sit at this painting and and, and are amazed that that god would do something like this through us as we worshiped Thank you.